yeah, that leg uh, from Auckland to Itajaí for sure <laughs> lived up to my expectations. Uh, it was pretty uh, wild and also conditions inside the boat when you're not on your watch. It was, you know, just listening to the sounds it made, like, bah! <laughs> when you're trying to sleep. You know, just living was really hard in general, but it was also uh, the feeling that the team was together because you had to be together to, to sail the boat on, on that weather. For me, it was the hardest, but it was the coolest part of the race for me. Because I, I can remember the acceleration of the waves. It was so cool. And that feeling there was always something going on. And, you know, the feeling of achievement also after we've done it. I think it was very big. Although we had some pretty tough times when we lost Fisher, it was really hard. But I think in general, that's, for me, that was the race. That moment over there that we were in the Southern Ocean. It was pretty cool. Oh, a lot of things surprised me because it was the first time I did in the race and honestly I, I knew nothing. I, I knew very little and I, when I went to the leg two, I've never been on a boat for more than, I don't know, five days, um, like offshore. So it was pretty, not scary, but it was like, oh, how is it going to be? And it was more or less like this for the first five legs uh, or six and then I started getting I had started getting a feeling like maybe I know more or less what's coming. Uh, since the end of the race, uh, I've went straight back into Olympic sailing. So uh, I've done the Worlds uh, less than a month after the finish of the race. And that was a big challenge to come back into the race. I was not feeling comfortable at all. In Olympic sailing, you have to be very comfortable, comfortable with your body and with yourself. So I think gym, time is very important and making sure you're rested and uh, not tired when you're in the water. So it's very different from the Volvo, which is uh, doing everything you can on the water, no matter if you're tired or not. So it's a different mode for sure. I think everybody deep inside, you know, everybody wants to win it. I think that's what brings people back. And if they think they have the possibility of winning it, they will be back there. It is a big project and it's something you're in the end of it, you're proud of. And there's so much evolution from the beginning to the end. But when you're there, you're like, ah, you know, I'm quitting tomorrow. I'm quitting tomorrow. And then, and then you finish the leg and you're up for the next leg. And yeah, and then it goes. Uh, you want for sure to be in a good team. I think there's a lot of shortcuts you could have with having friends around, for sure. And yeah, you, you can learn it stuff the hard way or the easy way. And uh, yeah, I did learn a lot of stuff the hard way. Like I want to also achieve things personally, as well as everybody on the team probably. But you know, I, I think it has to be feel right and it has to be worth it. Because it's a lot of energy spent. <laughs>